Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to use STAD Advanced Concrete Design to design the concrete beams for a structure that has already been created in STAD Pro. Before we proceed to the STAD Advanced Concrete Design workflow, let's go ahead and review our model in STAD Pro and perform an analysis. For this particular workflow, we will be designing the concrete beams at each level. For this particular structure, we have a level at 12 feet, y equals 24 feet, and also y equals 36 feet. We're also going to notice that the beam geometry and layout on each level for this particular structure is identical. Let's also take a look at the loading that has been assigned in the STAD Pro model. As you can see, this model already contains seismic load in both the X and Z directions, as well as dead load and live load. Now at this point in our workflow, we are done creating all of our model geometry in the STAD Pro environment, and we've already created an analysis command in the input file. Before proceeding over to the STAD Advanced Concrete Design workflow, we will need a current analysis. So to run an analysis, select the Analysis and Design tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and click on the Run Analysis icon. Once the analysis is complete, go ahead and review the STAD Analysis and Design dialog and ensure that you don't have any errors or warnings. If you did receive any of these, you will want to look in your output file and rectify any issues that are needed before proceeding on in your workflow. At this point, let's go ahead and close out of this dialog and send our model information over to the Advanced Concrete Design workflow. To do that, go to your workflow panel in the left-hand side of your screen and click Advanced Concrete Design. Now by accessing the Advanced Concrete Design Workflow from directly within your STAD Pro model, you're going to notice that your STAD Pro model and this RCDC file are now linked together. And you can see automatically the analysis data has been filled in for you. Once in this dialog, you're going to name your project and fill in any other project details. In addition to that, you're going to select the concrete design standard that you'll be using throughout this sample model. As you can see, the STAD RCDC contains several US and international design standards. For this particular training, we're going to be selecting the ACI 318 and we will select the 19 version of this code. Finally, you're going to go ahead and select the design element that you're working on. For this particular workflow, we're focusing specifically on our concrete beams. Now in the STAD Advanced Concrete Design workflow, you can design the concrete beams at one level at a time, or you can group your levels vertically if you have a series of typical levels. Now for our particular model, we do have typical levels, our concrete beam geometry is identical on all levels of our structure, so we can design them together. So in the levels area, you're going to pick the level that you're working on, or again, if you want to group your levels, you're going to select multiple levels. The levels of my structure are at y equals 12 feet, y equals 24 feet, and y equals 36 feet. These other levels are indicated because they correspond with node coordinates in our STAD Pro model, but they don't actually contain any beam geometry. Once we're done, let's go ahead and click Create Project, and we'll immediately be sent over to the STAD Advanced Concrete Design Workflow and all of our analysis model information that is needed 
to design the concrete beams will be imported. Now upon entering the STAD Advanced Concrete Design, you will be able to see some of your analysis information and the information that was imported basically from your STAD Pro model. Here we can see the beam numbers that are assigned in the STAD RCDC, and we'll be able to see the corresponding beam numbers from our analysis model, in this case STAD Pro. In addition to that, we'll also be able to see that the Section properties that were assigned to each member in the model have been successfully imported, and of course, all three levels are indicated. At this point, we're ready to start the design process for designing our concrete beams in STAD Advanced Concrete Design. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.